in this place tonight. Come on. God has done wonderful things in my life. Yes. And I am so thankful. My heart is just overflowing with words. With I can't words. I can't even say. And I just have to tell you guys that God still healing me. Yeah. He's still healing me. I've had a problem the past few months. And I haven't told. I haven't told them probably just a couple of people about. And it's really, it's been long, it's about, about two months now that I've had it. And I, I've had a problem with anxiety. And I kept, every time I turned around, I just I was having, I was having trouble breathing. And it just, it scared me. And I didn't know what to do. And I'm, I would, it was an anxiety attack. I was having panic attacks and get anxious about things. And when I started doing that, my oxygen felt like it was getting low. I felt like my heart was racing and it would hurt so bad. And the nurse came in one night and she told me, she said, Don, you've got to calm down. You're, you're getting too excited about stuff. What's wrong with you? I said, I'm scared, I'm scared. I, don't, I can't stand here, your door closes. I can't stand to be alone, be alone for, for very long periods of time. And I oh, very long periods. And this revival really did come for me. He's a Holy Spirit of that. Holy Spirit. Had enough. Yes. And Monday night, when I got to the bed, I started having these. I was having these attacks all day Monday. And I got to bed Monday night, and I just started praying. I said, started trying to get calmed down, started thinking of calming things and enjoyable moments that I've had, and all this kind of stuff, you know to get myself calmed down so I could go to sleep. And I haven't been sleeping very good at all. So finally, I, I started praying. I said, no, come on. I said, I've had enough. I don't, can't deal with this anymore. I am a child of God. I have got the Holy Ghost. I've got you living inside of me, so your healing power is inside of me. I, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I shouldn't have to deal with this anymore. By your, I started, by your stripes, I'm healed. Yeah, yeah. So Amen. I shouldn't have to be getting scared of this and that and this and that. I said, there ain't no more. You promised in your word that if I would believe that you, it would be gone. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I am believing from now on that I'm not going to have this trouble. I am not going to deal with it no more. That's it. I am done. I am a Holy Ghost filled child of God. And I started quoting scripture after scripture. Every scripture I could I could remember, I started quoting. I started thinking about messages that I heard during the Bible. And those words just kept coming over in my mind. I've had enough. I had enough. That's it. And I went to sleep that night. I slept all night long. Woke up about 5 o'clock in the morning, which is when my nurse usually comes in to, get, to take my uh, blood sugar and everything like that. And I felt so good. And I was, I just felt, wow. <laughs> I'm feeling great. I feel like a brand new person. I feel like the old person I used to be. Where I just had all kinds of energy. I, I just got up and I walked to the bathroom and I came back to bed and no problem. And I, I all dogs for two nights now, I've been able to go to bed, lay down, and fall asleep. And not wake up until five o'clock in the morning. And just I feel I feel free. I feel free. I'm not bound. I'm not bound at all. I've been singing and praising God, and yes. they, uh, I've been yes. having trouble with my um, CD player. 
And for the past couple of months, I thought the thing was broken. I couldn't get my CD to play that I had in there. So after all this took place, um, my aide come in. I said, please, would you check this out? I said, this is not playing right. There's something wrong. And I've had aide after aide after aide look at it. I said, would you please check that CD? And um, so she pulled it out and she looked at it. And I'm ashamed to say, but I, of course I didn't know about what it was. It was a DVD. <laughs> All this time, it was a DVD, and that's why it wouldn't play. <laughs> I'm going, when she read that to me, I'm going, well, no wonder it's not playing. She goes, what are you talking about, Mr. Norman? I said, it's a DVD, it won't play in CD players. She said, well, why not? I said, because it's a video, and you can't see it when it's playing. She goes, I never knew that. <laughs> God, I praise God, yeah. he's wonderful, it, he's awesome, and I'm telling you, I am so excited every day now, brother, look, I'm so excited about getting ready to come to church, I kept telling everybody all day long, I'm going to church, and I realized that if I show love to every single person that I meet, unconditional love, and I've been going through time after time for a long time, I thought unconditional love, I can show unconditional love. So I was showing it to a few people, a, a group, of, you know, whoever I felt I should show you know, unconditional love with. But I realized that if I show love to each person that I talk to, no matter who they are, no matter what happened, you know, what's wrong with them or what's not wrong with them, if I show them and tell them about what God has done for me, love them the same way God loves them, that I'm going to get a lot farther and be able to grow a lot closer and get where I really need to be. I need to be singing more, and I need to be playing more. I don't need to be sitting back and sitting up there um, like I'm dying. Because I'm not dying. No. I've got life in me. Every time we, you know, after, after dinner, they always would take us up to the nursing station. And I, we, I'd have to sit with everybody up at the nursing station. But uh, I started telling them, no, I want to go back to my room. They said, well, why don't you want to sit up there? I said, well, I don't want to sit up there with all those old people. I'm not old. <laughs> OK, you know, I, I got to get in my room. I can hear my CDs. So praise God for the revival. Praise God for Brother Hart and Brother McCain. Praise God for every single message. Praise God for every single element that's on that platform. Praise God for the word that's coming forth. To anybody that gets up there and preaches the word, the wrong is coming from God. It's wonderful. And I praise God for Teresa and Brother Stewart. They have been there to back me up. No matter what's been going on in my life for all these years, they've always stood beside me, Brother Paul. And I appreciate that. Brother Rayford and Brother Rhodes, the same, and anybody else, so as long as I've been here, you people have loved me no matter what. And I thank you for that. Praise God, hallelujah.